Hi, I'm Don Cotton with 323 Link, and today I'd like to show you an example of a Zoom room that is going in to replace a full distance learning lab uh, in a, a tr traditional uh, distance learning lab uh, area. We're not finished with the room yet. You can still, we're still going to have to paint and do some things, and we've got a couple of things to finish up. But ultimately, I wanted to show you a layout of this room. Um, this room is replacing um, what was probably an $80,000 room, and we replaced it for a fraction of the cost um, using Zoom rooms. What's great is we got rid of almost all of the audiovisual equipment because we're able to wirelessly content share. We have a house computer that is integrated into the system. Matter of fact, um, I can uh, select it as a source. And we have on the back wall, we have three displays. These three displays do different things based on whatever the scenario is for the classroom. When I come in to share just content, all displays share content from whatever device wirelessly or from the house podium or from a laptop at the podium. This is all built into Zoom. Then uh, obviously we have our three displays here at the front as well. I have full camera control from the iPad. I have full remote camera control and a technician can be a part of the call and they can have full camera controls of all the rooms. So what has been one of the biggest reasons people have not thought that maybe a Zoom room could do what a traditional DL room could do? Well, the big problem is auto scheduling. And so we're working on that now and hopefully very soon, uh, within hopefully in summer, we will have full automation for auto start, auto stop, auto records already built in. I'm actually recording, so another function of these rooms is full lecture capture recording. And I'm able to capture, publish that to the cloud. I'm actually, these are being sent to my email address because I put my email in, it's where I want it delivered. We also have software that integrates the Zoom platform and Zoom cloud directly with any LMS that can automate that workflow of recordings being done. They can be triggered and meetings can be done directly in the LMS system. Then they can be recorded and they post directly to the appropriate course page. So contact us about that if you want some more information. Now, the other thing, let's go ahead and I'll just uh, connect to two of the first sites we have set up on this network. And so I've gone ahead and hit connect to get to those sites and you can see they come up. And so my scenario with my displays changes here. And so right now you can see I've got the active speaker view is in the center, big 70 inch display. I've got a Hollywood squares as I call it. It's continuous presence of all sites. And then I have a self view of myself. Here's what's so great about this without an AV switcher, Without all the traditional AV gear, I can go to the cloud portal in Zoom and I can tell these displays what to show based on what I'm doing for the room or what I want for that number of people who are gonna call. This room supports up to 50 people connecting directly to it. It supports full webinar feature, full uh, broadcasting via Facebook or YouTube. It also supports obviously all the automation backend systems um, where you can tie in the APIs for this to do a lot of other stuff. We also have some very simple control systems where you can hit a light switch, the whole room turns on, you turn the light switch off, and everything goes off. If you want some more information about how we're doing some of these things, uh, please give us a call. Uh, my name is Don Cottom with 323Link. Our website is 323Link.com, and uh, we look forward to talking to you more about how you can deploy Zoom rooms to replace those traditional, expensive, hard to use codec systems that you have in classrooms probably all over your campus. All right, thanks again for checking it out.